welcome to the new lecture in the previous lecture we discussed about the project lathe project using absolute coordinate system in this lab practical we will do the same project but this time we will choose incremental coordinate system rather than absolute coordinate system so this is a sort of repetition of the previous uh, practice but in this uh, lay practical we will uh, use the same or we will draw the same uh, CAD model in the box for software and then we will generate the code but this time we will use uh, incremental or relative coordinate system so at the end of this lecture student will know and learn lathe project 2 incremental coordinate system we will do the modeling CAD modeling and then we will generate the code codes gnm codes and then we simulate and after simulation if it is okay then we will send the codes to the uh, box for kate cam machine for real time manufacturing part programming in operation sheet we will do the same practice as we did in the previous lecture we will write the gnm codes manually in the programming sheet as well as we will note the data regarding the spindle speeds feed rate and the type of operation in the operation sheets manual part program write up using gnm code in the programming sheet comparison between manual part programming using programming sheet and box for part program code sheet so we'll compare again we'll uh, do the comparison between the uh, manual part programming sheet as well as the codes that has been generated by the box for kate cam simulator and uh, at the last at the end we will compare the manual part programming using programming sheet for absolute as well as incremental coordinate system that what is the difference between these two uh, coordinate system if we use uh, absolute coordinate system and then if we use incremental coordinate system what is the difference between the coding the sequence number for the same lathe project So lay practical number 5, the title of the lay practical is Real time manufacturing using box for kate cam machine and comparison of the software generated and manually drafted GNM codes using programming sheet. So in the previous lay practical we did the same practice but using absolute coordinate system. In this lay practical we will do the same activity but this time we will use an incremental coordinate system. So the objectives remain the same you can study and you can read the objectives again the same slide which has been provided in the previous lecture mt2 lathe project 2 so these descriptions have already been discussed in the previous lecture so you can read it by yourself creating the CAD model and then editing and then generating the codes auto dimension mean uh, but this time here we will use incremental mode rather than absolute mode these are the same slides which has been discussed in the previous lecture and after CAD modeling and generating after generation of the code then we will simulate the part and after simulation if it is ok then we will send it to the manufacturing uh, KTK machine. These are the part programming sheets. Again, you are already familiar with these sheets. In the previous uh, lay practical, we did the same practice. These are the GNM codes. So, this was the previous CAD model which we have drawn in the box for CAD CAM simulator in the CAD LED software or lathe kit software using absolute coordinate system and then we will come we compare the gnm generated gnm codes by software with the manual part programming sheet these are the codes which is menu which are being uh, drafted manually so in this lab we will do the same practice but this time we will use relative coordinate system so you, you have to note the 
datum point the node points or corner are in points a b c d e here you can see the difference between the absolute coordinate system and incremental coordinate system in incremental coordinate system last point will be the reference point while in absolute coordinate system datum point will be the reference point for all the points calculation or measurement again you will use the same software and draw the uh, k drawing of the model but this time you have to use the uh, incremental coordinate system or relative coordinate system then we will simulate and 3d rendering this is the same activity which we did in the previous lecture so this is the uh, programming sheet uh, and these codes are manually drafted uh, using relative coordinate system or incremental coordinate system so you can compare this sheet with the absolute coordinate system and you can see the difference in the coming slides again the same activity you have to compare the manual part programming sheet with the software generated codes now in this slide you can see the, the part program is the part uh, the CAD model remain the same but the difference is the coordinate system on the left side you can see incremental coordinate system uh, the um, programming sheet for using incremental coordinate system while on the right side you can see the programming sheet using absolute coordinate system so you can compare the coding uh, you can see the difference that we will discuss in the physical class and again this is a practice practice exercise you have to um, practice this model you have to draw this model using a relative or incremental coordinate system and you have to follow the same activity which you did in the which you will do in the in this uh, lay practical so this was all about the this lecture this was the short lecture is it is the repetition of the previous lay practical using a different coordinate system in the previous lay practical we did uh, we use the absolute coordinate system while in this lay practical we use the incremental coordinate system thank you if you have any question you are most welcome to discuss in the comment section or you can ask me in the coming class or in the physical class thank you